Inflation has never been this high. In fact, in the last 18 years, this is the highest that we've seen it. Food has never been more expensive than it is today. Today, my task is simple. Can I feed myself three square meals for just 20 Ghana cities? And that includes also hydration in the form of water. Let's find out. Now I'm about just five minutes walk from the office. I'm here at a very popular cocoa joint. As you can see, it's teeming with people waiting to get their breakfast for the morning. Mr. George Boating is here. He gets his breakfast from here sometimes, although he likes to switch it up. George, good morning to you. Good morning, madam. How are you feeling this morning? I'm doing good by the grace of God. So today, cocoa is on the menu for you this morning. That's great. I'm good to take it. I sometimes take it. So I'm happy to come and meet you people here. Lovely. Now, how much do you spend on your cocoa a day? Uh, just now, as I've come, I bought um, two cities and two cities for the bread. And there is something called Pinkasso. I bought uh, that one to two cities. So it's going to be six cities. So about six CDs for your breakfast this yes. morning. Is that typically how much you spend each morning? Uh, I sometimes take wache. Wache will be more than six CDs, but this is a, a moderate one that I've been taking. And I take it much because it is moderate for me. Does it keep you full for the morning? Uh, as I'm going to take this one, it's going to take me for about uh, 12 o'clock. From 12 o'clock, then I go outside and take in fufu. Okay. Now, how much will you be spending on your lunch today on the fufu? On, on my lunch, <laughs> I sometimes take um, fufu six cities and uh, the, the, it will be 11 and five cities for the fish or the meat. Yeah. So about 11 cities. Well, today I'm attempting to eat three square meals, including my water for 20 Ghana cities. Do you think I'm going to be successful? Do you have any tips for me, George, how I'm going to survive on 20 Ghana cities today? Uh, it depends on your um, uh, your pocket. <laughs> so sometimes me, I go according to the pocket. Uh, the place I work, I take in the, 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 the dinner there. So when I spend the one, one 11 cities, and the six it is here, I'm finished, and then I'll, I'll go and wait for my, my food. Uh, in your uh, program, it's going to be all right for 20 cities. Augustine is here with me this morning. She's getting her morning sustenance. It's also her birthday, so happy birthday to you, Thank Augustine. You. What's on the birthday breakfast menu? Well, <laughs> today is going to be um, cocoa with um, sambu fruit, yes. Cocoa with sambu fruit. Is that a typical breakfast for you? Yes, that's a typical breakfast for me. That's and how much does that cost you each morning? It costs me about six cities each morning. <laughs> About six CDs? Yes. Okay, give me a breakdown of that. For the six CDs, what do you get? So for the six CDs, I get um, the cocoa, which is two CDs that I used to buy for one CD 50 pesos. <laughs> and then I also get the book fruits for four CDs, of which it used to be, one used to be for 50 pesos. So now if I buy four, now it's four CDs, making a total of six CDs. Okay. Well, today my experiment is very, very simple. I'm trying to feed myself three square meals for just 20 Ghana cities. Do you think I'll be successful? Yeah, you will be. That's if you're buying Gary Sokins. <laughs> That's if I'm buying Gary Sokins. Do you think the average Ghanaian can feed themselves for 20 Ghana cities a day? Well, breakfast is in the bag. It has been secured. Let's see what happens for lunch and dinner. With only some 16 cities to go, wish me luck. Well, it is now time for lunch. And with some 16 cities left over from breakfast, we're about to find out exactly how much 16 cities can get me for lunch. Bear in mind, I am yet to have a sip of water.
This is lunch. Now this bowl of hot steaming fufu set me back some 15 Ghana cities. The fufu cost me 5 Ghana cities and the cow meat 10 Ghana cities. Now this piece you're seeing here is the generosity of the cook. As it would appear guys, the money for the day has been blown. I have just enough money to buy myself some sachets of water. Can 20 cities feed a fully grown adult breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Well, the verdict is out. Bon appétit. Like, <laughs> these are the sorts of assignments I like going on. I know. Yeah. So it was a tasty one. Yeah. Like, Fulfillment. <laughs> oh, there you so, have it, guys. So what did you do in the evening? Your money was finished at this time, by this time. Yes, right. I, I was left with um, one, um, one, city. one city. I hadn't yet had any hydration for the day, so okay. I managed to get water. some water, some three small sachets. You know they go for 30 mm. pesos mm. now, so one for breakfast. You drink one for lunch, then in the evening, well, solo water, project. Water projects. Yes. Solo. Solo, so, so solo yours water is project. what? 110. That's yeah. your formation. Yeah, that's my formation. 110. Yeah. Yeah. But there's, there's 010. There's and one then zero. 001. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you decide. No, but yes. if you did 110, that means that today you do 000. You just switch it up. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no, today there's 001. 001. Yes. <laughs> oh, because you had. <laughs> uh -huh. So we switch it up. You see how we do it. 001. Maybe tomorrow, one. <laughs> Zero one, because you can oh mix you and can match. Vary it, eh? You can vary it, but okay, my so you are doing carry forward with the fufu. Yeah. That's right, so, exactly so. Ah, okay. And but it's that carry fufu forward. Was small. Five cities worth of fufu. Uh, that, that's, the, that's the starting point. That's like the I starting yeah. point, absolutely. <clears throat> uh, the meat that I had on the fufu cost me um, ten cities. What you saw was uh, just the so benevolence you have to beg of okay. the patron. No, I think she saw in my eyes that uh, you know lunch Nipa was very <laughs> important to me. So she added that piece. At least she gave me some meat. ginger. Some she gave ginger. me some ginger. She said the ginger is free of charge because I asked. I said ginger no. Yeah, and that cost the thing ever. because Missy cannot ask. I said oh the ginger you can have as much ginger as you like, my dear. And that was the Charlie. outcome as you can see. Now even for breakfast, hey. on average when I was at the Coco Spot, mm. on average uh, the people that I spoke to were spending about six cities for their yeah. breakfast alone. I managed mm. to, to get breakfast for four cities. We saw that <laughs> breakfast yeah. I brought back yeah. to the studio mm. with me. So six cities on average uh, for breakfast. And of course, as the day uh, proceeds, the food gets more expensive. And uh, a number of you have commented uh, on Quite our social media page person. about how much it costs you to feed yourself per mm. day. Many of you saying that 20 CD budget that I gave myself for the whole day, you can exhaust it in just breakfast or lunch mm. alone. Hmm. The cost of food as we know it is so, skyrocketing. So the gentleman you spoke with said that he was going to use, what, 11 CDs for food. It, it, that, that's, that's not realistic going by how much you spend for your fufu. Because no. the meat, one, oh, the one meat chunk was, of meat is yeah, 10, 10 cities. CDs. That's right. Fufu, so that's 15 that's cities. of fish. So maybe he'll get his... Maybe when he goes Or he'll to... buy your mud, yeah. <laughs> he'll buy a tribe. He'll buy a tribe. He'll buy a tribe. <laughs> <laughs> buy a tribe. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah, your mud, yeah. Maybe, maybe a bit cheaper, the, actually. Like the, the towel. Mm. Yeah. Or the niachi train. Isn't that more mm. expensive? Is it? Because that's special. Mm. It depends. Maybe in some places you can maybe. get it How on earth uh, this thing is supposed to be special? I don't know. The, the intestine? No, yeah, the one, the niachi train. And the uh, goes is through it a ball? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, dear. Okay, so it's just Yemadi. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I thought maybe they add the that tribe. too. I sure we haven't even eaten that before because there are times when they tie it too. 
Yeah, and so that the thing is, is that <laughs> the ball, which ball? <laughs> that scroll too much. Hey, 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 I'm not too sure how much that goes on. But look at the gymnastics, guys, and the mathematics, and yeah. the uh, ana uh, anatomy that goes into even deciding what mm. part of the protein your pocket can, can, yeah. can you know, can afford. And uh, are we are we on the verge of having a malnourished citizen? Citizen. Yeah, maybe I think gobe with no plantain. Yeah, because <laughs> some of the guys, I hear they go and buy the gobe and just ask for Gary. And, and then they manage it, so they buy what time. They're just filling the foundation, you know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, Let's I mean, so we've seen what it's like to be the buyer. Let's mm -hmm. hear from the vendor as well, because they've also had to cut down either on quality, on value, or increase the price of the food. How easy or difficult has this been? Let's hear from them. How has the prices of goods in the market affected um, your operation here uh, at the food establishment? Okay, thank you very much. At first, the prices were low and we had a lot of customers coming in to buy. But since there's been an increase of all the commodities, it seems our market has run down because not everyone comes in to buy food, especially those who just come in to buy food with lower amount of money. Right now, because of the increase of prices, they do not come in no more. Okay, so on average, let's take the fufu and soup and the meat, for example. On average, how much are people spending on their lunch? What is the price range? At first, 15 cities was okay for them, but now it ranges from 20 cities and upwards. So from 20 cities and upwards, that's the average amount people are spending on their lunch each and every day. And do you expect that prices will continue to go up, looking at the current markets? Yeah, for now, every, every week... There is an increase in something. And as things are going, I think probably there is going to be an increase as well. All right. Thank you for that. A possible increase as the weeks go on. So maybe we'll see that 20 CD average mark go up even higher. Now that we're told that fuel prices are also going to go up, we might end up buying diesel for what, 14 Ghana CDs. Mm. Ooh. You know, and, and petrol for 12 CDs. That, I mean, you know, diesel used to be food. cheaper. Than yes, petrol. it used I, to be. I'm trying to understand at the points at which you know, petrol more became expensive. more expensive yeah. than diesel. But it, it, it. it only goes to say that you'll be spending more. Because technically right now, 100 CDs can't buy you two gallons. Or just about two gallons. Hmm. That's what 100 CDs, which used to buy you know, as much fuel, that's what it can buy you. Yeah. So if you, um, for example, and I, I pity the taxi drivers. Hmm. Um, because you're roaming around town, you don't know when yeah. your next customer is coming in. You're just burning the fuel. You know, it's it's painful. It's painful. I'm like I'll stay at one place. You stay. I'll wait for the customer <laughs> to come. <laughs> because if you burn the fuel, what if you don't get? Because there are some who could go a whole day without a yeah. customer. Yeah, and they go back home. Sometimes very sad. And... What will you tell the car owner? I mean, what would you even eat while you are driving? And then when you close, hmm. your car owner expects a sales. Yeah. And then your family at home also expects you to bring something home for them to eat. Your child is going to school the next day. I, I know somebody who, for two days, a child had to stay at home. Mm -hmm. So I saw the kid. One of the days I went home early, sometime last week. I saw the kid roaming in the area. I said, ah, I know you ask who. Mm. You know, this, this is a son of a mason who does, you know, his regular masonry job. But, of course, there, there are no jobs. Nobody has come to call him. Mm. What else can he do? You know, so you find that they wake up in the morning, they have their head pants, they have their trowel, and they are robbed. And then they go around construction sites asking, you know, for jobs. Mm. You mm. know, we, we have not really streamlined things in this country to the extent that if I'm a mason, I mean, our labor office, is it effective? that I'm done with school. I go and put my CV there. These are my skill sets. This is my educational qualification. Um, if there's a job opening, I'm, I'm good for it. I mean, we see this happen yeah. elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But in our case, we only end up creating small NAPCO, small ye, small yes, small no, small this. We're just creating schemes. One scheme replacing the other. And, and that's not sustainable. It's not sustainable at all. People, when people can't find food to eat, or food is too expensive, they are susceptible to all manner of influences. They are susceptible to all manner of influences. Hmm. A hungry person can do person. any and everything yeah. just to survive. It only takes a few 
who can keep their conscience and they know they have a high moral code yeah. and ethical standpoint. But mm -hmm. a hungry person will do just anything. Hmm. From young girls selling themselves, getting on hookups, just to make ends meet, sleeping outside, mm. you know, with just any and everybody for as low as 50 cities, 20 cities, 100 yeah. cities. Yeah. It, that is the reality. And it's a social protection point, which is why uh, when they talk about a joy for sometimes, I. Charlie. But it's okay. Ah. We'll check out some comments on, on Twitter shortly. Mm. If you can just keep scrolling up. It's a little Whoa. further down. Yes, uh, the next post. Yes, Whoa. there it is. We'll so we have some comments <laughs> on there about what people are saying. There's Ademola Kojo. I don't know if we read that already. He says that if I don't eat in my dream, I will spend 25 Ghana cities. But if I eat in my dream, <laughs> I'll spend five Ghana cities. So in, case, in case you are interested, you can join me. Is he a wizard or something? <laughs> wow. You can join me. In the morning, Sorry. three cities for Coco. Afternoon, ten cities. I manage the cocoa from three to uh, I manage the cocoa, and then from three to four p.m. I dodge, I eat lunch, and then I dodge uh, dinner. Hmm. So formation, Do you formation guess it? with yeah. tactics. Um, ah. Prince Noni Star says, "Life Ghanaians know they cook for food." Uh, no, never mind. Let's just move on. New make Kime Jonas says, "Sometimes five, uh, other times to nothing at all. But there's too much food where I am. I'm in Bono East region. Okay, so Bono is a bread basket. Yeah, exactly. It's a bread basket. So you have a lot of yam, a lot of. Um, mm. But it's raining heavily, so you have oh, to. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's it's the sound of rain that we're hearing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, Felicity yeah. did tell yeah. us tell to us expect that, some uh, rain. Yeah, I see. Sound of rain. Anyway, there's someone with formation there. Formation, mm. eh? Robert. Yao Mensa Amweni. He says, if the formation is one one one, then twenty four Ghana cities. If it's zero one one, sixteen Ghana cities. But sometimes the formation be zero one zero with help of Gobe. Gobe four cities. Gary, separate two cities. Ah, uh, you buy the Gary separately now? Yeah. No, no. He adds extra Gary. He oh, buys oh, okay, extra okay, okay. Gary. Mm. Then the rest of the two cities. Hmm. Every minute be answering them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if I welcome back to Ghana. <laughs> uh, you, are, you are welcome, but oh let's know your God. formation. Yeah, far. Mm. Casino says, for me, I go by the formation 011. Mm. That is kinky in the afternoon and porridge in the evening. What's about breakfast? You know, people actually have brunch. So they wait in the morning. They yeah. keep themselves busy, do all manner of yeah. things. Then by 12, 11, mm -hmm. 12, they knock the kinky two True. balls. And then they bid Two their balls time. in this Ghana? Yeah. You can buy six CDs worth of kinky. I know people like Because of the formation. Two balls. Because and Danny cannot survive on a ball of cake. And Danny says he eats only two balls the whole day. He doesn't no, eat again. No, he has snacks in between. <laughs> <laughs> he says he doesn't eat anything. <laughs> and, Danny, and Danny's snack, he can uh, eat two balls of cake and his snack will, will be much cake. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, Darling Kojo says, if the gobe seller disappoints, 15 Ghana cities. But if she comes there, beans, two cities. Gary, three cities. How do you buy more Gary than beans? So, you know, they, they call it concrete. Mm. So the guy has to be more than the beans. The guy beans. has to be more than the beans. So then it appreciates. <laughs> so to the point where sometimes you can count the beans. <laughs> yeah. And then... You know, and then, I have no information. No, but I'm, I, do, I do community <laughs> connect, so... You know the, the different know. formations. I meet them regularly. <laughs> when you drink the water, it helps the it helps gary the, to swell appreciates. inside the yes, intestine. Yes. You can actually count the beans. Yes. Some people actually feel the, the, the beans with Gary that now it's, it's not beans and Gary, it's Gary and beans. Uh, yes, some people ask for only oil and Gary. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, Prince Latano says 30 CDs every day as a single person. I feel the pain of family, okay, of a family of more than three. Godwin Gakko says six CDs. That's a great deal of food stuff in the house. Oh, there's a great deal of food stuff in the house, so I don't need to spend heavily on food outside. The problem most people are facing is that they fancy buying food outside than taking the pain to cook. It is a fact that raw food in the market is equally costly. Yes. But you'll save enough if you buy and cook almost everything that you eat. Hmm. I'm not too sure because, of course, you have to pay to actually also cook the food. If you are cooking by way of gas, even electric, whatever the case yeah. may be, you add that to the cost. Mm. If you're working, you're going to be tired, you're going to be in traffic. If you live in Temadia, forget. What used <laughs> to be a 25-minute <laughs> journey is now a three-hour journey. So you think about your whole day and how all of this goes to impact it. It's easy to say, oh, why don't you just cook? But think yeah. about all of the other True. things that go along along with it as well. It's... it's hmm. Hmm. Charlie. Oh, you want to read no, more? No, okay. no, go ahead. Read Brenda Cosmos... Somewhere. We're says that them. 15 cities, morning beans, four cities, tea bread, three cities. Charlie, beans is popular, or gobe. You know, you know, uh, beans and tea bread. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, 
Yeah. It's a winning you know combination. Some before. I'm learning a lot of new you know, things today. Here in USC, they actually have beans, gobe, mm. with salad, leaves, and pear, everything is Salad? In yeah. In beans? Yeah. Not salad with the cream, like raw. But yeah, still leaves yeah. and beans. Mm. Yeah. That's leaves too much. Beans. It rhymes. Bars, man, bars. <laughs> leaves and beans. Okay, your favorite comedian <laughs> says, depends on the day's activities. <laughs> But I spend 350 CDs to 400 CDs every market day on Saturdays because I'm the only family uh, dependent. Okay. Uh, a family of 11 members. I'm the only one working <laughs> in the family. Five kids who chop morning, uh, who's chop money, you mean, to school is five CDs each. Huh? So five, five. Wow. Hmm. Five CDs each. That's a hefty <sighs> And you take care of a family of 11. Wow. Each. That's a football team. <laughs> it's a full team. <laughs> Black stars. Anyway, which are, okay. Benjamin says, in the past, I didn't used to cook. I was always buying food outside uh, since 2020, uh, 2012 when I came to Accra. But now, dear, I judge you cook my rubbish and eat it like that. <laughs> I can't keep it myself. Charlie, I, I think at this rate, uh, Charlie, you have to start bringing food to work. With. Hey, yeah. you know, we used to laugh at people who bring yeah, lunchbox yeah. to work. As, as a boy, I mean, when they gave me food for school, I would go and Pack it somewhere, go to school, come back, come and pour it. And bring. I did. I was. I didn't like it. So I either go to school, I swap maybe my MPC with yeah. some balava sauce with somebody's rice, and I eat it. And they, they enjoy and it, they, you mm. know. And hmm. someone says he's doing the zero one zero formation, so only got the five CDs a day. Zero one zero. Yeah, Justin and Salome says, as a fa I'm a family of four. I'm from a family of four. I spend one fifty CDs a day. So Charlie, I guess... do, you, do you know do you know how suddenly gobe has become as popular as kokonte? Because mm. they always say that oh me I don't eat kokonte oh me me eat kokonte but you're going to get to the chop bar the kokonte yeah. is finished, it's always finished. Who has been eating the kokonte? <laughs> Who watches the watch? Who one? watches the watch? <laughs> <laughs> they all don't eat kokonte, <laughs> but when you get to the chop bar the kokonte is finished. Wow. Those of us who eat the kokonte when we get there we can't find some. But when you meet the ladies, they tell you, oh, me, me, the kokonte, oh, kokonte, there. Yeah. Mm. I only eat hey. kokonte maybe twice a year. Twice, twice a year. So you are part of the group that has been shorting mm. us. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But well, it's not, like, kokonte is not expensive, too. I'm, you know, I don't eat kokonte, You know, though, back so. in the day, kokonte was the cheapest in the mix. In you the go mix. to a chopper. Ah. Fufu was, was the guy at the top. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. Omoto would come. And, and then, then Banku kokonte. would come and kokonte is the last yeah. maker. Now, Kokonte and Fufu are almost at the same. How did you know that one? Well, I'm a patron. <laughs> I'm a patron. I like to eat healthy. Well, I don't enjoy Kokonte. I like Kokonte, Kokonte so I don't with like either palm soup or granite soup. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mm. like it. Because it does keep, help, help keep you full. It and does. that's why people are also picking uh, the option of yeah. beans. Because yeah. at this point, you have to pick something that's going to keep you <laughs> yeah. feeling full. You can't go for a flimsy dish. Which has pr protein, protein as well. Protein in there but as well. That's the thing. Kenke used to be that food that everybody would buy. Yeah. Because it could last you at least some hours. That's but right. because you could have fish too. You see, beans, for example, uh -huh. gobe, has beans. That's protein. That's protein. It has gari. That's mm -hmm. kabo. It has the fat and oil, mm -hmm. so at least you're getting, yeah. you know, three. But Kenke, three, you yes, don't get that. That's Kenke, right. you don't, you don't, yeah, you don't you get, get that. Three, you have yeah. to add on to it to, to be able to get it. Hey, people are struggling. You know? No, no, it, it, that, that's the reality. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to activate the phone lines at this point. Please call us and let us know how much you spend on food <laughs> in a day. Whether you're a student, your worker, would love to know. Helen spends twenty CDs on food, so she has no, formation on one word zero. Yeah, that's what they have. Formation mm. is 110. Mm. So what had, is your formation? She didn't formation? have dinner. No. So aren't you hungry? <laughs> Very much so. So you're going to do... Have you had breakfast? Not yet. Oh, so you, today you, know, you say your formation is 001. Zero, 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 zero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us how much you spend uh, on food and what percentage that constitutes of your earnings. We're just interested. We want to understand yeah. you. Yeah. So you spend how much on a daily basis, weekly, monthly, and how much do... And how much of it... Is taken away by food. We mm. want to calculate our personal food inflation. Yeah. Yeah. We have Mami Dankwa from Tamale. Helen. Yes. Hi, Mami. Good morning yeah. to you. You're on air. Yes. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> in fact, this cost of living in Ghana is not easy. Mm. I'm in Tamale. And then one would even think that in Tamale, food would be cheap. Mm. I spend 3,000 CDs plus a month. Mm. Food. Wow. Alone. For wow. a family of how many? In fact, I have two children. Okay. And then I have two other people 
thing you need. Mm. So that's for like my husband five. Right. Now we spent three thousand on food and we are not even able to buy everything. Hmm. Well it's not fast. Calipo used to be twenty four cities. Now it's forty two cities. Hmm. Hmm. This is for the pack you mean? For the pack. Mm. Wow. The same calipo that no, no. President Akufaru drank. Hmm. Your child will go to school every day with calipo. You have to buy two packs hmm. for a month. That wow. is 84. Even meat that we used to buy around 150. It's now 350 cities. Hmm. Hmm. This is Tamale where you have you have cattle and sheep and you slaughter and meat is supposed to be cheaper you, there. You take your salary, you can't you can't save. We are doing hands to mouth. By 29th, we are on our phones waiting for our legs. <laughs> it's not easy. That is where church evangelism messages. <laughs> it's not easy. Right now, I don't even go for lectures every day because I'm always kind of too well. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully, it's mm. not sorry. also crying yeah. for airtime. The line was cut. Yeah. But you two yeah. can join in the conversation. Give us a call and let's uh, find out the state of your personal economy. Because I always say, remove all of the jargon. Remove, remove all of the convoluted chit-chat. It's mm. all about what's going on in your pocket. Yeah. Can you feed your yourself? Personal mm -hmm. Your personal economy. Can you feed yourself? Are you able to take yourself to lectures? How are you faring? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you able to sleep well at night? Mm. The average Ghanaian is going through a lot. Yeah, and yesterday, you know when we did the calculation? Food, transport, transport. accommodation, clothing. We did not add, for example, offering and tight. It's also part. And I'll say... Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Johnny. Uh, what, um, what is your personal economy telling you? <laughs> oh, okay, so I've adopted a strategy that I'm using to fight against the hardship and the economy. <laughs> what so is your strategy? Now, <laughs> what I'm doing is uh, I don't buy food from outside now. Mm. I go to the market, buy um, yam, uh, rice, oil, and stuff, and put it down. Mm. So no matter um, how late I get home, I'll, if the next day I'm going to work with the rice or something, I'll cook. I know, you know, we put in rice, rice kind of stuff. You eat in the morning and take it to work. Wow. Mm. I mean, that one will help, you know, because transportation alone is something we need to talk about. Mm. Short journey or short distance, you pay like three cities, three cities, 50 pesos, mm. and going home, in and out, you know, spend like 10 to 15 cities just on transportation. Yeah. So if you are going to add that one to food, it means you are not going to save anything at the end of the month. That's true. Okay. That's true. Yeah. Recently, oil, one liter, I bought one liter oil, 28 Ghana cities, which is too much. You understand? Mm. So, yeah. So if you buy the one liter, you can use to cook, I mean, four or five times. Mm. You know, it's better than going out to buy the food. So that's what I'm going to. Charlie, like that's, that, that's smart move. You are yeah. fighting the pandemic very well. Congratulations yeah, sure, sure. to you. Yeah. All right, thank you. And thank that's you. because he knows how to cook. But if you don't know how, to, how cook, to cook, you must learn. And you are like Giovanni, you cook negative. <laughs> no. <laughs> <And> <laughs> next you time. You die on your own supply. <laughs> For some people, when their wives travel, they, they can't eat. They refuse to eat. Yes. So we'll see those people yes. too, how they'll survive. Good morning to Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> Manufacture of negatives <laughs> <laughs> made from the kitchen. And like I said, so fuel is going up, so I can just imagine how people are now going to also have to relook at their budgets for the day. Because if you're paying 12 CDs for just in, yeah. if you're coming from Tema yeah. all the way Another to Circle, out. you might 24. have to. Exactly. That's already 24 CDs. And, and you CDs know that LPG prices transport. have gone up too. Hmm. There's some 18 pesos that we are not talking about, and mm -hmm. possibly it may add up. I don't know about the next pricing window, whether it will go up or come down, mm. but LPG has also gone up. So even if you decide to cook at home, what you used to buy for 70 CDs, 80 CDs, has now gone beyond 170, almost 200 CDs. Mm. So you're spending more on local fuel to cook. Absolutely That's right. a call on the line, Franklin from Kumasi. Uh, Franklin <laughs> from Kumasi, you're on the line. Good morning to you. Franklin. Yeah, good morning. 
Hi, good morning. You're on air. Yeah. Uh, my name is Francis. I'm calling from Mars. Go ahead, Franklin. We can hardly hear you, my brother. So you'd have to position yourself where you speak. Ah, no. sorry. We've lost Frank. We can yeah. hardly hear. Well, oh, it no. would have been interesting to hear perspective well, from Kumasi. Yeah. You yeah. know. Um, yeah. I mean, speaking of Kumasi, in fact, let me just find this message. Because yesterday I was having a conversation with a friend mm -hmm. on the cost of food. And he says that Kumasi used to be very economical. Yeah. But yeah. now we're also feeling the pinch. Mm -hmm. As compared to Accra, however, Kumasi is better. Mm -hmm. Except that the rate of inflation is now amazing. So it's affecting us all. You, you know what I, I saw in Kumasi as well? Beyond the, the nicely uh, you know, cut loans and yeah. the things that you find that most of the homes had a conscious effort to mow their lawns, they, mm -hmm. they kept the green. Now they're also selling the lands. Mm -hmm. The lands that you used to f cultivate, they are now selling it. Oh boy. <sighs> hmm. Well, we've got another uh, caller yeah, yeah. on the line. Godfred from Navrongo, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> You're on air. In fact, this inflation actually is making people crazy. Hmm. If you have not, if you don't use a very good formation, you actually live in hunger. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oil that we used to buy at two point eight, that was last three months, is now almost four million and something. Hmm. Which last two three months, when you buy, at least you can use it for two months before it gets this. This month in which we are, if you buy it out of a salary of thousand dollars, you are left with six hundred to manage. Which is going to put a burden on our family. Instead of even buying the good rice which we used to buy, now we start to buy them by ball rice. Mm. Which <laughs> even that one to at least two point something for the twenty four kg. Twenty five kg. actually it's not easy. And the fuel this time around, when you buy when you buy fuel on your motorbike, you ride and you open to check to see whether they still fuel. We don't even check the gauge again to check whether mm. we have fuel. <laughs> you have to open your tank to check. It's not easy at all. <laughs> Tell him it's true. So with the gate again. For the gate, it's nothing. It'd be true. It'd be true. Charlie, thank you. <laughs> thank I'm you. Checking that fuel no, no, it'd be true. By opening the tank. It'd be true, yeah. It'd be true. Hey. You know, I, ha I have a friend who is, is uh, a doctor. Not a medical doctor. You know, a PhD holder. Yeah, right. And he said the police stopped him one point and asked him if he's okay. Because he was driving, but his eyes were on, the, on the, the, gauge. the gauge. So his head was down there. He crossed the red line. So they put the red light. So the police stopped him and asked him, are you okay? He thought there was something was happening. He said, it was me checking before or no? I said, and caught them. Because he said, I don't me talking about me. Who gauge did you? But it happens. You buy and it doesn't. The needle yeah. doesn't even no, move. No, it, yeah. it, it goes like this. And then comes back. And then falls back. <laughs> I mean, I've been asking, at what Price point per liter of fuel. Will you park your car, Bella? <laughs> because at some point you're, you're, me, you're close to me there. <laughs> I think we have to carpool. You park somewhere, I'll meet you there, and then we go. See, together. if we had, if we had a good transport, a system. transport system, mm -hmm. exactly. And I have always said that. Look, when we decided that we're going to roll out Ayalolo, the GPRTUs and all of this, they had a problem with it. Mm -hmm. That's because we didn't coordinate it properly. Now picture this. Okay, let's let's pick this. Let's pick this last call and then yeah. we'll get into that conversation. All right. Who's on the line? Buhari. Buhari, good morning. Savannah region. Uh, oh, okay. I thought it was president. It's not, it's not Nigeria's president. Ah. Buhari, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing fine. Great. What is your personal economy telling you? Uh, in fact, we, we are a little struggling. Hmm. Uh, the economy is not even at all. The reality is in our pocket and the pocket is not speaking well at all. Mm. If you, the 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 bed now the thing that wakes you up is what you are going to eat for the day. Mm. It wakes you up. Uh, yeah, that wakes you up. Because mm. when you are on bed, when you are going to sleep, you think about the next day. Mm. Mm. And when you get up, you don't even get a good sleep at all. I see. So because <laughs> when you are getting up, you think about what you are going to eat in the morning, mm. what to sustain you for after, mm. and what to even sustain for the full day. So, the so if you don't get the the mm. the to into it, how do you plan? How do you even plan for your life? Your, your daily breath haunts you in bed. Hello. 
your daily bread, it haunts you in bed. Yeah. I see. Oh yeah. But food is supposed so, to bring joy to you. The, the, uh, food is life. If food is life, if you don't, if you don't, uh, even if you have anything and then you don't have food, how do you, how do you live? And then you, you, assume you just buy something today, then tomorrow, the next day you get up and you go to buy the thing, the thing has changed, the price of the thing has changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your budget will be distracted, everything of you will be distracted, you don't know what to do. Now we are, we are, we are into small business and other things. Mm. When you go to buy a cone, a cone was was like fifty cents. It was like fifty cities and rest. But now, when last when they go short and then they came again, now a cone is hundred cities. Hmm. Some place you get ninety cities. Hmm. You buy this thing and then you process the smokes. You send it. Who will even buy? Where's the money to buy? Okay. You invest your money into the business and then you become locked up. So now you get the formation cry. You be, it is the formation that will even force to make it for you, not make the formation. So you, what's your formation? <laughs> the formation for today. Yes. Uh, the formation to, for today to be zero one zero. Wow. So you are not uh, you are not had breakfast now. You are waiting for lunch. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's okay. his formation for the day. Thank he you. said what? Zero. Zero one, one zero. zero. That so, means that one has to be very heavy. Yeah, very. I'm sure he's going to have some some heavy food. Like yeah, that. Banku. <laughs> you think you Banku have, can do the But even the Banku, job. you see, you end up drinking lots of water. So you yeah. spend more money on water as yeah. well. So mm. it's not as economical. But at least if water is 30 pesos. So mm. if in some you bring place, like we're told 50 pesos. That's true. Yesterday, someone yeah, called some us place from 40, 50 pesos. Yeah, that's true. At some places. And they say we should drink eight liters a day, right? Uh, uh, eight oh, cups, eight, about eight two cups. liters a day. Good, okay. mo good morning to Ghana eight Water cups Company. A day. <laughs> we will drink your water. We'll drink <laughs> I the, think so. Now it's we'll time to just fetch it and boil it. <laughs> we'll you know how we used to have those? No, in the villages, yeah. we have you those fetch, pots. You boil, you we sieve it. I think we have to start doing that too because... How much are you going to be spending on water? Well, look at all the gymnastics that we're having to do to sustain ourselves in this country. Yeah. But somebody who I'm hoping, or people who I'm hoping are not doing too many gymnastics, mm. if it's your birthday today, I hope you're yeah. you know, not doing any formations. Yeah. Eat all the food you can. But happy birthday going out to Gideon, Kneeboy, Korte. Enjoy your new age. Another birthday mm. wish here going out to Mrs. Elizabeth Fosu, owner of Lizzie's Unisex uh, Boutique. This is mm. coming from Bismarck. Kujo NT. Do uh, have a great day. And to Lady Joyce uh, Midley, this is from Kelvin here at TV3. Happy birthday to you, Lady Joyce Midley. And also a happy birthday to you, Dr. Patrick Kuma Abwaji, Director General of the Ghana Health Service. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow will be fun. Tomorrow I'll tell you why we have failed to get a transport system in this country. Tomorrow hmm. I'll tell you. Because if GPRT decides to go on strike and all the other transport companies, we'll, we'll be stranded.